So today we're in Hampshire, uh, in a little village called Romsey, where we're visiting the Hampshire Fire and Medical Service uh, Museum. Um, I'm going to introduce you in a moment to Anthony Hurl, who's the man behind this organisation, and give you a little preview on the museum, a bit about Anthony and the work uh, that uh, they are doing. Mate, if you want to go and do it. So welcome to the Fire Brigade Museum. Uh, my name's Anthony and I'm the director. So the museum is a museum of vintage fire engines, firefighting equipment and uniforms. So I'm a veteran firefighter myself. I served 20 years in the fire and rescue service. Um, unfortunately, my career has ended due to post-traumatic stress disorder. Based upon that um, and the experience I had, uh, the museum's got three objectives which we're using all revenue from the museum to perform. The first is uh, supporting emergency workers suffering from mental illness such as PTSD and depression and what we'll do is not only be a support place for them but actually provide uh, payment for private treatment to, for their psychological support so actually they can get well and back to work as soon as possible. Secondly we're supporting young people from 12 to 25 with mental illness such as anxiety conditions and depression and we'll do that through a number of uh, activities such as apprenticeships, work placements, jobs, volunteering opportunities and essentially we're going to provide the young people with a safe space with on-site counsellors where they can undertake extra learning and vocational work to support them into a lifelong career. The last thing we're going to be doing is supporting uh, those that are lonely and vulnerable in the community by offering a volunteering, and, a volunteering scheme and a people library. So here we have our exhibit on the Insurance Fire Brigades and the era around the Great Fire of London. So we have several artefacts from that era such as insurance fire certificates. We also have a 17th century leather fire bucket which was actually in use around the time of the Great Fire of London. So our ex exhibition moves forward and we look at advances in firefighting uniform as we travel through the ages. We have sets of mannequins here which demonstrate how uniforms evolved in the fire service mostly based upon health and safety incidents such as the King's Cross fire which led to the fatality of station officer Colin Townsley so this was the uniform that was being worn at the time therefore we showed the advance the uniform for protection of firefighters and a move away from uh, the more aesthetic versions of the uniform we move up to modern day where we're looking at prevention of firefighter cancer from unseen carbons on the uniform hence the new colour of uniform to ensure that is uh, well seen by firefighters of today so they could decontaminate themselves. We have quite a range and selection of firefighting helmets from throughout the period. Each will tell its own story of use uh, from the individual. We then move across to our Second World War display where we very briefly touch upon the birth of the Auxiliary Fire Service from the Air Raid Precautions Act and through to the, evolvement, uh, through the evolution of the National Fire Service um, to make sure that the fire services across the UK were standardised during wartime. Coupled with that experience, we have a Covid Decline Vax trailer pump. Uh, essentially, this trailer pump was provided to us. It's in need of full restoration, which is of great use um, when we're working with uh, mechanical apprentices because they can actually work to rebuild it from the ground up. So here we have a small selection of badges and fire service memorabilia which is collected from um, a number of uh, donators to the museum. Notably we have a few long service medals from the fire service. We have a particular mission to actually gather all fire service medals that have found themselves onto social media and auctions for sale. The idea is that the recipients um, are honoured in the service to the, fire, into the UK fire service by um, having their medals on display with us. We have a selection of model fire engines as well for model enthusiasts. And again, we have Second World War mannequin displays here. And we have a um, selection of modern helmets actually worn by volunteers at the museum throughout their career. So, as you can see, we have a growing collection of vintage fire engines. Um, we certainly have some additions to the fleet since these photographs were taken. The majority require refurbishment or restoration in varying degrees um, but that's something again that our team of volunteers, apprenticeships uh, and work placements will be able to assist us to support them in their vocational training and us ensuring that our vehicles are preserved for future generations. 
So we're very pleased to have in our collection 1970s ERF turntable ladder uh, built by the Hampshire Fire Brigade and served at Winchester Fire Station for the majority of its life. It's very interesting the fact that it's got a unique number plate. So being a turntable ladder fire engine, the registration number stands for hydraulically operated turntable 100 foot ladder. Okay. Another vehicle in our collection is our 1980s Dodge pump ladder fire engine which served in the London Fire Brigade. Recently uh, purchased by the museum, you'll often see this at shows and events. So welcome to our workshop. In the workshop we have a number of fire engines again which are undergoing restoration work. It could be something as simple as minor restoration work on our Leyland fire engine preparing it to be out for the summer or our two appliances to the rear of the workshop are undergoing major restoration due to issues such as uh, rotten frames etc. So there we go, there's a little brief introduction to the museum here in Romsey. Um, you can uh, go online, we'll put some details on to, to book to come and have a look around and uh, come and see the work that's been done here and uh, show your support. So I've just returned back from our visit today um, from the uh, Fire Museum, Fire Brigade Museum uh, based in uh, Romsey, Hampshire. And um, I picked up one of their uh, leaflets uh, on our left. Um, and I just think I'd like to read out a little bit more about um, about the uh, about the museum and uh, the sort of things that they do. So um, basically, you can learn uh, how the fire services evolved over the years, um, back from history, uh, all about the Great uh, Fire of London in. Uh, 1666 and of course the Blitz of 1940-41 uh, you see various uh, memorabilia, uniforms etc from that period of time um, the youngsters get a chance that they can try some uniform on um, there's always uh, some of the trucks that the guys have restored uh, that they can climb around get a real feel for what it's like to be a firefighter um, and talk to the team of, uh, of guys that uh, are, are experts in the field of, of, of firefighting. These are professional firefighters that give up their time uh, to help others. Um, you've got exhibits there spanning well over 500 years of, of history um, from the very first firefighting uniforms as Anthony showed us earlier right up to pretty much the current day uh, uniforms. Um, Good reasons to visit. Um, if you're a budding firefighter or just have an interest in the fire service uh, and the equipment, um, there is a lot to see. Uh, and the museum is expanding on a, 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 a pretty rapid basis. Um, so pop along to Romsey. Um, the whole idea, as Anthony uh, said, and it's really important to underline this, that this is a museum that's really designed to, to help those uh, from the emergency services world that um, are undergoing um, psychological um, effects um, due to the nature of the work uh, that they're involved in. Um, and also is to support young people, those from sort of 12 to 25 year olds suffering from lack of confidence, um, mental illnesses um, and they're going to create a, a cadet scheme so these youngsters can come along and, and uh, be, be taught uh, how to make the most out of their lives, have a bit of discipline, um, give them some real interest in, in focusing on something that um, hopefully they really enjoy. And with a dedicated team there um, that have got vast experience uh, the youngsters will really um, benefit from being around these people. Also there's all sorts of apprenticeship schemes that uh, Anthony did brush against earlier uh, and that being come along and help them to maintain equipment, appliances, um, there's a lot of work to be done 
uh, on some of the appliances uh, and there's plenty of other projects in the background waiting to be to be commenced um, restoration work on um, I feel uh, just my visit here today I've known Anthony a very very long time through through uh, the profession um, and uh, I I do know how dedicated he is to what he's currently trying to do and um, voice of experience uh, in, in, in a lot of ways um, as you've heard Anthony give a brief description on his career path um, one of which um, I've known about for 15 years maybe um, and um, certainly those uh, of you in Romsey in Hampshire will certainly recognize uh, Anthony's uh, face from today's uh, little visit uh, he was um, very popular firefighter at Romsey Fire Station for many years and um, a very respected man in the community. So anyhow that sort of sums up uh, our little uh, trip for, out for today but um, just for those of you um, interested in learning more about the museum um, their address is uh, unit B4 and B5 Manor Nursery in Romsey postcode SO51 OMB uh, and website is www.firebrigademuseum.com and uh, please look them up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter um, they're, all, uh, they're all there to be looked at and um, to, to find out some more information so please like and describe uh, the channel and um, hopefully we'll bring you some more material very soon and certainly the progress of uh, the Fargate Museum in Romsey take care, bye bye